is, is that you do grow in your wig journey. Sometimes when you put that wig on for the first time, you think, I'm never leaving the house like this. And then you look back and you thought, what was I worried about? My purpose is to help you save time, save money, in your search for your perfect silver gray white wig or alternative hair piece, right here on Silver Linings. Hi everyone, I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Thanks for spending part of your day or evening with me, and I hope that this past week you were able to find some of the silver linings of life. Last week I talked about Ensley. It's a new wig that I purchased and I did a whole wig review on, on Ensley. And I decided that I was going to take four of my long wigs, my really long wigs, Shakerado by Beltress, Orchid by Aesthetica, Angelica by Noriko, and as I just said, Ensley. And I want to show you things that because I've noticed I probably wouldn't make the same buying decision again. Stay to the end. I'm doing a, I'm doing a giveaway for those of you who stay to the end. One last thing. What's on my head? Well, I haven't worn this wig probably ever except for a review and her name is what's your name? Sparkle. <laughs> Sparkle by Raquel Welch in the color Iced Granita. And I thought since I'd be talking about long wigs today, I'd come on camera with a short wig. For those of you, and I know there are many of you, who really enjoy the shorter wigs. Some of you like them at Chin Lake, some of them you like right here, some of them you like really, really long. We have all different kinds in this community. So now let's move on with the comparisons between four long wigs. Shakerado, Orchid, Angelica, and Ensley. Okay, so here we go. Um, before I move on to the four wigs, I'll share my screen with you. This is the review that I did on Sparkle, which is on my head right now, and I'll drop that link for you below. Okay, so here are the four wigs that we'll be comparing against each other today. This is Shakerado. Orchid by Aesthetica in the color Lilac Haze. Angelica in the color Illumina R, meaning rooted, by Noriko. And last is Ensley by Renee of Paris in the color Moonstone, and I reviewed her just a few days ago. So what we're doing is we're comparing the other three wigs to Ensley. The very first thing that I want to talk about with all of these wigs is the hair, the actual hair itself. But we're not going to go in depth with color today. I want you to just notice the hair. If you could feel the hair you would feel it doesn't it doesn't feel silky like fine silky hair it feels a little let's see I have to be careful of my adjectives it feels a little dry to the touch not coarse but dry now uh shakerado used to have much more of a wave when I first took her out of the box, but I've worn her and worn her and worn her and she really does need to be washed. So she's looking kind of straight right now, but let's take Shakerado and let's hold Shakerado next to Angelico by Noriko and look at the difference. I don't know if you can tell the difference. Two different price points on both of these wigs, but I like them both. Now you'll notice Angelica is a little shiny, but she's not too shiny. She's really not. But she does look silkier than Shakerado, and she is. Angelica is much silkier to the touch. 
If you've ever seen someone with beautiful, shiny, straight black hair if, and, and you touched it, you would, you would say that that's what this feels like. Whereas the Shakerado is just more textured, I'll say. Both beautiful wigs. Okay, so that was that was Angelica next to Shakerado. And now I'm going to take, we're going to look at Aesthetica in Lilac Haze. And we're going to see that, again, texture is very hard to do over the internet, but we're going to see that I would say Shakerado is a little more textured, a little drier, let's say, than Orchid. Orchid is a little silky. Orchid is kind of in between in terms of silkiness. She's kind of in between Angelica and Shakerado. The one in the middle is Angelica and that is the silkiest one. The one to my, in my right, your left, is Shakerado. And then this one here is Aesthetica. So Aesthetica and Shakerado are the more rougher feeling of the two, textured. And Angelica is very silky, and she's rooted. Now the very last thing that I want to show you and this was what really struck me because I thought when I took when I when I was reviewing Ensley, Ensley looks very silky. Here's Ensley. Here's Angelica. Look at those textures. I don't know if you can tell, but they're very they're very very close. Ensley is Renee of Paris. Ensley feels silky, not as silky as Angelica, but feels fairly silky to the touch. Oh, and the other thing that I wanted to point out, look at the wave pattern on Ensley. And now look at the wave pattern and now look at the wave pattern on Orchid by Aesthetica. Loosely waved. Very similar. Ensley's a little bit longer. I thought for sure Orchid was longer. They're both very close. Okay. So Differences in the texture of the hair, differences in the curl pattern of the wig. The other thing I wanted to talk about is how much hair is on each wig. What's the density like? How thick is it on each of these four wigs? So now again, I have Ensley. And I would say Ensley's hair is... It's not super, super thick, but it's not, it doesn't feel like too much hair. But if you're not used to having a lot of hair or if you're new to wigs, this might feel like way too much hair for you. And Shakerado, if you want a long wig, might be better for that. So her hair is about, it, I mean, it's not thin, thin, but it's not super, super, super thick either. And there is, this is a lace front, there is no permatease in this cap. Okay, I hope you're taking notes. <laughs> now, um, here is Orchid's Aesthetica. She doesn't have quite as much hair as Ensley did. And again, I was surprised because I thought for sure Orchid by Aesthetica had more hair. But she doesn't. And I also wanted to to mention that um, when I first purchased 
Orchid by Aesthetica. Uh, again, I didn't have as much experience as I did now. And when I first put put Aesthetica, um, when I first put Orchid on my head, I felt like I was screaming to the whole world, "I have a wig on." Now, when I look at these two wigs, um, when I look at these two wigs, Ensley has more hair, and I love Ensley. I love how Ensley looks. This one, Aesthetica Orchid, has a good amount of hair, but the point is, is that you do grow in your wig journey. Sometimes when you put that wig on for the first time, you think, I'm never leaving the house like this. And then you look back, and you thought, what was I worried about? Okay, so that's Orchid by Aesthetica and Ensley. Now we're talking about how how does the wig feel? How does how much hair is there? So now I've done Orchid, I've done Ensley. Now let's look at Bell Trust. This is this is Shakerado. She you can see now she doesn't have as much hair, right? You can kind of see through her. If if we hold Shakerado up with Aesthetica. This is Shakerado. This is the Aesthetica Orchid wig. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but Shakerado, because you can kind of see through Shakerado, you can kind of see there. The hair is thinner on Shakerado. So that might be, you might be more comfortable because it's more believable. Because it's not super lush, you know, you know. It's not all of a sudden overnight you grew this head of super lush long hair and everybody wants to know where you purchased the product. No. So Shakerado, for those of you who want a more realistic density, let's say. And then Orchid is... Uh, more hair but still not as thick as you could get on some wigs and then finally again next to Ensley remember we're talking about how much hair there is there's Ensley uh -huh. and here is Angelica again more straight Angelica is more on the straight side than wavy and when you put those waves in a lot of times it either looks fuller or it actually is fuller. So again, for those of you, and and also notice uh, Angelica is more more straight, of a straight wave, if that makes any sense. So if you like full, lush feeling, and you love long hair, Ensley, you'll probably love that one. If you feel a little bit more comfortable in not as much hair, want to go long, there's Angelica. So both Angelica and Shakerado didn't have quite as much hair. Not as dense. That's Angelica. And the other side is Shakerado. The next thing I want to talk about is the cap, specifically the lace. Now the first one is Angelica. Angelica is not a lace front. She's a machine made standard cap. But I will tell you it is absolutely beautifully done. Beautifully done. And all of the caps have adjusters in them for sizing. All of the caps have felt covered ear tabs. So I'm not going to get into that so much. I want to talk about the cap. Uh, excuse me. I want to talk about the lace front. And so as I just said, Angelica is a machine made front. So that doesn't really apply. But just the point that I wanted to make is that machine front is, is just beautifully, beautifully done. The way the wig uh, 
falls to the side, just everything about it. You can style this wig, you can bring it up on top of your head, you can wear it back. I've worn this wig several times and every time I wear it, I really, really enjoy it. Very, The hair is very silky and again, the cap is uh, machine made. I've dropped the link below for you, so if you want to see the full review. Now, let's talk about, I'm saving what I think is the best cap for last. Okay, so Ensley, I just want to give you the concept here of these lace fronts, especially if they're, they are a mystery to you like they were to me. Ensley's lace front, when I feel it, of course you can't feel this, but when I feel it, the question I'm asking myself is, does it feel the same as the other lace front in Beltress? Who's got nicer lace? And what, what I mean by who's got nicer lace, here's the Beltress. Does it feel scratchy? Because if it feels scratchy under your fingers, it might feel scratchy on, under, under, on your forehead or on your scalp. So, well, the lace front on on Rene of Paris's Ensley feels a little scratchy, feels a little thicker. And I want you to pay special attention to this right here, this spot right here very very edge the very edge okay now the lace front on bell tresses shakerado feels softer you can't really tell by looking you have to touch it it feels softer a tiny bit scratchy but not as scratchy as the Rene of Paris but then look at this right here. Look at that. When the wig is flipped and that's held against your skin, that hairline is almost invisible. Almost invisible. So well done, Beltress. So well done. I'll show you what I mean. Share my screen with you. Okay, so here is Beltress. Here's the wig. I'm going to get rid of my myself for a minute. Okay, you see this whole air, this area right there. See where my cursor is? The part that's touching the skin, where the hair and the skin meet. That looks so beautiful, and it looks so realistic, and. Also, if you notice how the wig is sewn, it's sewn so that if you push that wig back, it's going to stay where you put it. It's just, it's a beautifully done wig. And you can also see a lot of the waves that were in the wig here cuz this was a brand it was brand new when I did this when I did this review. So that's what I mean by taking a look at the lace. You can't run your hand over it for obvious reasons. But some wigs have a reputation for lace fronts that are a little stiffer, a little scratchier, let's say, than others. It doesn't make it a bad wig, but it just means, you know, you, you may be able to feel it under there. Okay, and then lastly, going back to the cap and the lace front, I would always want to have at least a partial monofilament. That's where you can see through the wig and it looks like your scalp. Otherwise, there's too much hair and a lot of time, you know, to cover that whole scalp area, that whole region, crown region, and it can tend to get wiggy. So, uh, Shakerado had the partial monofilament, as did Orchids. Aesthetica had also the partial monofilament, and Ensley had the partial monofilament. That's a nice wide part right there. Nice and wide. And of course, 
Angelica by Noriko is machine made, so she's not going to have that that uh, monofilament top. All right, did you stay to the end? <laughs> I think that there's probably somebody out there who, who wants this giveaway. And here it is. Now you're probably thinking, what kind of a giveaway is that? Well, you know what? I decided to give this away because I loved it so much, I bought one for myself. And here we have Patty, uh, our rock star mom. I know a lot of you follow Patty, and she is modeling my giveaway. Now, I would have modeled it, but honestly, I don't have a space in my house set up right now where I could just walk around like Patty has. <laughs> But I looked at that and I said, oh, I love that. I love the colors. She had another one, too, that I love, but it was already sold out. So I'm telling you right now, listen to my voice. <laughs> if you see something, if you if you follow Patty over there at Rockstar Mom, she's not asking me to do this. I just I just follow her. I would say make haste because so many times I've gone because some of the things... They're so cute. They're so affordable. She's adorable. And I wait, and then a week or two later, or maybe even a couple of days later, they're gone. So don't wait. And if you like something, that make sure that you go ahead and pick it up. So let me show it to you, though. Uh, I've got it in person here. And the colors really are, they're just beautiful. They're, they're beautiful. And one of the things that I like, I can't find the right side up. One of the things that I like about this designer, this um, Miss Lavish of London, free size, <laughs> is this, it's not so huge that um, you're going to feel like you're swimming. It's just, it's just the right amount of width and also it's not I'm five foot how, how tall am I I'm five foot two and a half I'm not going to tell you my weight sorry <laughs> but I'm five foot two and a half and this does not drag on the floor so it hits me right at the bottom of my ankle which I love I have not washed it yet but here are those gorgeous colors look at that And the camera's picking them up pretty well, too. And then that, that uh, pattern goes all the way down. And it does have that border all the way around the bottom. So you could, if you had to, you could, you could uh, sew it. And then on either side, there's slits, as Patty was demonstrating to us. Here's the giveaway one. So I will run, uh, you'll see the link in the bottom of the, in the description, and I'll tell you how to enter for this giveaway. And just a little reminder to you, especially for those of you who are new, I do sell some of my gently used wigs. These are wigs that have been used only for a review or worn a handful of times. And so here they are at my at my website someonewithgrayhair.com and they'll always be here and if any of them get sold I should say when any of them are sold then of course I'll put the uh, the sold sign there so you know about that also uh, be sure to stop by and look at the Jean Renault color chart just for the silver gray white family and I go into detail at my website what this chart is all about and I believe I just posted a video explaining this chart as well thank you for visiting with me today I hope that this next week you will look for and experience the silver linings of life and if you do that you'll share it with us in the comments below thanks so much for watching bye bye